In this video, I am going to discuss about univariate normality and multivariate normality. To discuss this topic, I am using this model. In this model, we have uh, 12 observed variables are there and the normality of this individual question is called as univariate normality. And the normality of this model is called as multivariate normality. So we are using SPS Amos to discuss this topic of normality. Uh, before running the analysis, we need to do small setting here. In the analysis properties, you need to select a test for normality and outliers and calculate estimate and view text in this. Check the model fit, all the observations, check everything is fine. Now in this of variable summary, we need to check assessment of normality. Now in this assessment of normality, we have 12 variables are there. So individual normality that is univariate normality can be checked here. Here we have critical ratio for both skewness and kurtosis. Okay, so the thumb rule is that the critical ratio if it is between minus 1.96 to plus 1.96 then normality is there okay if it is between minus 1.96 to plus 1.96 normality is there now this must be true for both skewness and kurtosis if you want clear understanding you can do the same thing with SPSS and check it in SPSS we have total 362 sample size and uh, variables are 12 variables. I am doing the normality. So in this analyze, descriptives, explore, select all these 12 variables and uh, in the plots select normality, continue and click OK. Okay, in this uh, directly we can see the normality. Here, this is a test of normality. We have two tests, kolmogorov Semino test and Shapiro-Wilkes test. Now, you can see the significant value is less than 0.05. The rule is, if the significant value is less than 0.05, there is no normality. So, clearly we can understand that starting from question 1 to question 12, no variable is having normality now if normality is not there then how to check the outliers so you can go to chart for individual variables and see any outliers are present so I'm just dragging on saying for the outliers okay here we can get the outlier here for observation of question 6 uh, observation 293 351 298 355 these are the cases in the data which are outliers so we can re, uh, delete that cases from the analysis in order to make a normality this is one of the alternative to, to make uh, data normality and in the same way you can see for data question 8 also 336 358 346 361 these are the observations uh, were not having normality in the same way you can check for all the variables wherever outliers are there if you delete there is a possibility that you the data can be normality that is univariate normality can be achieved but when you're talking about uh, uh, SPSS uh, AMOS the structure equation model univariate normality is not very important what is very important is multivariate normality because we are using maximum likelihood estimation for structure equation modeling when you are using maximum likelihood uh, estimation then multivariate normality is compulsory so let us check for our data multivariate normality critical ratio is 0 0.837 which is between minus 1.96 to plus 1.96 so normality is there multivariate normality is there for our model okay now in case if there is no normality normality is also not there for multi norm multivariate then how to check the outlier is you need to click on this observations 
of Mahalonobis distances. Here it is clearly specified in column 1 observation numbers and the distance from the centroid. Okay, the observation which are very far away from centroid can be deleted in order to achieve that multivariate normality also. But actually it is not a uh, good idea always going on deleting the observations in order to make normality because as the sample size increases generally data will become normality. So but one of the options what we have is a deletion. In case after deleting some number of observations also you are not able to get that normality then what to do is you can use bootstrapping method. I wish this uh, information is useful for you in your data analysis. Thank you very much.